checking the snap counts, this is the most percentage that you've been out there on the field. How did you feel and what was different with this game between this game and previous ones? Uh, it felt great being out there. The only difference I can say is that, you know, coach put me out there and in other games he didn't. Uh, I can't really say, you know, too many reasons why anything like that. I don't pay attention to all that. Just get out there and try to help my team. And getting opportunities, what does that mean to you? Because you want to keep going on strong with these guys. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, opportunities, whatever you do with them, uh, it can give them to you repeatedly. You gotta go out there and make plays, help your team win, show them that you have value. Now, Seattle, what kind of test is this going out there in Gino, who is getting his first real shot as the start of the whole year? Um, Gino's playing great football right now. Um, you look at the numbers, look at how that team is playing. It, it's going through Gino. Uh, he looked like a completely different guy. So, I mean, up more respect to him and what he's doing, and we look forward to the challenge. DK, Lockett, those two guys are studs out there on mm -hmm. the field. What can you do to try to stop them? Um, whatever the coaches tell us throughout the week. Uh, those guys are great players, and they're always going to get theirs, and you got to do what you got to do to limit them and then, you know, contain them and do what we got to do to give ourselves an opportunity to win. Through the first half of the year and then this past game, it feels like you haven't been at home in forever, and now you're going to have a lot of home games to close this season. How important is that for you guys trying to close the season strong? Uh, it's always important. Um, obviously, with the position we're in, all, all we can do is patrol our destiny by winning. Uh, you get a better chance to win when you're at home in front of your fans and you have that momentum and stuff. So as a team, you know, you try not to pay attention to it, treat home in a way the same, but that different energy we get from Raider Nation, obviously you can't ignore it. So we appreciate the fans for sure. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's a really big uh, moment. I know a lot of people can't say this, uh, having two brothers playing in the NFL, so I'm really excited for the opportunity. Now, do you insist that who's your mom going to be rooting for? That's the big one. I think Cody is her favorite son, but you know what? <laughs> I won't admit that, but I think she's going to be happy having both her boys in the same place. This is so big. If you petition the NFL for like a rivalry trophy, the Barton Bowl. <laughs> you know what? I like the ring to it. <laughs> Being teammates in college and now facing each other in the NFL, I mean, that doesn't happen often, right? No, it doesn't. I mean, we got to play against each other back in 2020, but uh, there wasn't really any fans there, so it was kind of like a big old scrimmage. But we love, we love to see each other. We uh, we talk to each other every week, catch up how each other's doing. So I'm excited to see him. How many ticket requests are there going to be from the Barton family? Uh, you know what? That's all on his end. It's his, it's his home stadium, so I'm going to let him deal with all of it. <laughs> what is your one Thanksgiving food that, dear God, you can go, you cannot get away from on Thursday? Oh, come on, the turkey. Can't get away from that. I love me a good big old turkey. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Jackson. Okay. Thank you. On that same note, though, just what's one you are staying away from? Anything you don't want to eat? Oh, I got to stay away from those candy yams. Yeah. They're way too good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just curious, too, like, before you were a pro, any, like, favorite memory, you know, uh, of Thanksgiving involving football? Um, You know what? Thanksgiving to us was always uh, just a good time to be with the family. Uh, our grandparents would come into town, whether it could be one side of the family or both. And it was just it was our day to just be together as a family, go out, just hang out, probably go on a big family walk, something like that. Awesome. Thanks, man. No problem. How many you how many have it over in your house? Uh, probably like four, not too many. Okay, what are you, not too what are you many. Um, I don't know yet. I, I really ain't decided. Probably the normal, you know, Thanksgiving food. I'm not really big on uh, Thanksgiving food, but I like that. Just, yeah. You just don't like, don't like it, or is there uh, something you hate the most out of all that stuff? I don't like turkey. <laughs> yeah, I don't like turkey. I like turkey slices, like you know, on a sandwich, but that's about it. Like, yeah, I am, I am not big on turkey. I mean. I'm Curious, you're you're right up there in the NFL and rushing yards. Do you have a real shot at the rushing title? Would, would that mean anything to you? Uh, I mean, I, honestly, bro, it's not something I really think about. Uh, like a lot of the stats and stuff that uh, we've been having this year, I, I don't even know it to y'all tell me or to, to one of the guys tell me. So it's not something that I really like just think about. Um, obviously, it's gonna it's gonna be big for you know the end of this year uh, or how things go. But I don't really think about it too much. Josh was talking this morning about Yakim and said that you would have a lot to say about him, his importance, <laughs> and what he does for you. Yeah, man, Yak, man. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, it's a difference when he, you know he's he's in the game and he's on the field. Um, he's a he's a really big dude, man, that can move um, and is is very violent uh, at the point of, c of contact right. and things like that. So, um, I mean, I have the utmost trust and uh, faith in him. Josh was saying he had to kind of adjust to you because you never want to come out of the game. And he even brought up in recent years he's really been more like a running back by committee guy. Um, it's coming into this year. Did, was it in your mind you were going to get this big of a workload, or has it been kind of a surprise how it's gone? Just uh, for me personally, it's always been like uh, if they let me do it or not. You know what I'm saying? So it was just coming to them times where I'm like, you know, uh, a player happened, and I'd be like, man, 
you know, I got a chance to, you know, affect the game, and um, I feel like I want to be in in, in those in those situations. Um, obviously, you know, I'll be I'll be needing a break here, and <laughs> then, you know, here and there. I'll be like, all right, all right, come on now. But uh, man, yeah, it's like you know, be able to have the opportunity to to put everything on film and um, you know, showcase what you can do. Looking at your stats, you only got like four carries over 20 yards, but that then if you look at your yards per carry at over five. What does that mean for you as a running back that you don't need those big 80-yard rushes to get those stats padded? Yeah, man. I mean, it just it just lets you know that each run is, is, is real gritty. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, we was watching film last week, and uh, you know we averaged over four yards a carry or something like that. Um, and um, if you looked at all the runs, man, they always like real tight, you know, like fitting in a small, small window, small gaps, um, and, you know, just falling forward. So hopefully we, we keep it up for the rest of the year. You brought up uh, Derek Henry's name a couple times last week. I know for dog. different reasons. Yeah. If there's, as far, if there's a running back known for him in a huge workload in the NFL, and he's won the rushing title, I think, three out of the past four mm -hmm. years, it's him. Uh, did you kind of look up to him coming after him in Alabama? Or you guys have a relationship? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say I, I'm not gonna say I looked up to him because uh, we have a totally different game. You know what I'm saying, run style and everything. But I would definitely say that uh, I, I admire what he, you know, the way he worked, um, and you know the way he went about his, his business. You know, like even if you go back to Alabama now, you know they still talk about him squatting 500 after you know a LSU game. You know what I'm saying and, and things like that. I mean, so just the type of mentality that he had, I, I've always admired that. Um, and, you know, he hit me after every game, dang there. So, you know, we keep in contact with each other. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm proud, proud for him and uh, the success that he's had. Speaking of that, I know you've spoken a lot with Marcus Allen in the past. He's helped to mentor you. And I had asked previously if you guys had had a chance to catch up. Mm -hmm. Have you had a chance yet this season? Man, we, we ain't talked about uh, football, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We talked about some things, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, he's been, he's been doing pretty good. You know, he, you know, he do a lot of charity and things like that. I think he had a... Uh, a golf tournament not too long ago or uh, one coming up or something like that. But, yeah, that's all we kind of talked about. What are your thoughts on Sunday in Seattle, a tough place to play and a defense maybe that you don't uh, haven't seen really at all? Man, uh, man yeah, like I, I, all I keep hearing, is, you know, from the guys that's, that's played out there is how loud it is um, and, you know, how uh, their, their friends come to, you know, whether it's a winning season or a losing season or whatever. Um, so, you know. I, I look forward to, you know, uh, taking on that challenge. Um, but not only that, you know, uh, their defensive front, man, I mean, if you look at that front seven, they're pretty good. They got a lot of big guys, uh, a lot of physical guys, you know, and, and the linebackers, you know, be where they where they need to be. So, you know, from an offensive standpoint, especially running the ball, it's definitely going to be an interesting week. Um, but, I mean, I feel like when you play against a team that, that has a good defense, I look forward to those games because if you know if you do good in those games, then you kind of just put a stamp on who you are and, and who your team is. You told us you like playing in cold weather last week. What about what about wet weather? Like See, wet know. wet and cold is not a good combination, yeah. but you know we're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks.